So in the previous one, I mentioned to you that sometimes programming dumbly is faster. And this next battle is another demonstration of that, at least for me. So we're challenging X10 for the next uh, hacker battle. And the job of this one is pretty simple. You have to just have more execution agents in the network than your opponent. Uh, you have a limit of 100, so the, you pretty much can just flood as many as you want to. The only real trick to it is that the network changes every single time, and the links are going to be uh, prime numbers up to 13, between 2 and 13. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. And it could be any one of those for the link. So I needed to come up with a way of getting into the network as fast as I can. Uh, trying to be intelligent about the way you do this will let X10 take over the whole network on you. So I am hard coding those six values basically in my exploration because I just need to get things out and moving as fast as possible. Any calculation I have to do in between to try and like do it in a more clean manner, it's time that we are losing. So since we already know that there's just these six values, we're gonna go. So what I do is I link 800 to get right into the network and then I clone myself and I've split my spidering into two. I have the first half of the numbers, two, three, five, and then the second half, seven, 11, and 13. Uh, so XA goes in there and clones itself. XA is gonna handle the first half. XA zero is gonna handle the second half. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to create a clone and that clone is going to try and explore the hard-coded number associated with it. So it's going to explore two, they're going to try and link on two. Explore three, three, three they're going to try linking on three. So on and so forth. Uh, and then eventually one of these will work. And you can see I've, I've linked on 11 here. I need one, I need a five to get over here, which I eventually do, and I got a 13 to go across there. The goal is to get these things as fast as possible. Once we have something... Uh, once we have something like done, or once one of my spiders have finished, uh, we create a clone. I've created a, a clone block here, and that basically is just going to sit there and hold that network for me. And that's really just something that will help us claim land, because if we have things that are spidering and not staying in place, then X10 can just sneak in and start taking places whenever we accidentally like move. Like if we jump to a different network, he can slip in. So I create a clone that just sits there and holds the place for me. Uh, and it's really just that simple. Uh, the goal is get things out as fast as you as you humanly can, or I guess digitally can. Uh, for every cycle that you have more in the network than he does, you get a point. Uh, you'll see that sometimes my guys will end up like blocking off whole sections from being explored. I guess that hasn't happened to you here. Like these are just not because I never got an eleven across. That's fine, as long as I've taken over more than he has in the in the time that we're given. This one was a pretty tough one. This is probably one of the tougher battles that is in the game. Uh, so just remember that speed is the name of the game on this one. And that sometimes, once again, simple, dumb solutions are the answer.